The epical scientific achievement by Soviet Russia in beating the United States of America in the race to launch the first man-made moon has all humanity staring heavenward. For the miracle here simulated may have more profound implications than we mortals are ordinarily called on to grasp at once. Scientifically, militarily, politically, these tracking antenna, by the knowledge they will gather from the speeding orb, may well affect mankind as nothing before, may mark a moment in history unparalleled, cause changes to beggar the imagination. What our forefathers faced in the first plane flight could be as nothing to what we are faced with as the result of these USSR signals. They tell us the world may never be the same again. Meanwhile, in Washington, where they are attending a geophysical year conference at the National Academy of Science, two of three Russian delegates to the gathering enjoy their country's triumph. They refuse to explain why Russia did not tell the other nations it planned to launch the first satellite. This despite the fact the USA broadly publicized its program. But all America hails the accomplishment. A new moon, let's hope for the millennium, not Armageddon. It's a field day for the hams of the world as they employ all their know-how to tune in on Sputnik's Beep Beeps with the man in the street sharing the radio enthusiast's interest in the Soviet satellite. Astronomers Natch can think of nothing else as long as they can keep an eye to a finder they're searching the heavens for a glimpse of Sputnik. Sputnik is the talk to of an astronomical meeting at Barcelona where it's recalled that in 55 Russia's Sadov here said before the U.S. moon appears a Soviet lab will have conquered space. first picture of Sputnik released by Russia. But here's a scientific first and a news beat made in America. Actual pictures of Sputnik in flight made from Baltimore by the Westinghouse Broadcasting Company's cameraman John Kelly. Down under two they're looking up and from Sydney Australia comes these films of Sputnik in the skies of the Southern Cross. Sputnik is a lonely wanderer down below. These pictures made by the Australian Broadcasting Commission show, but for a little fella, he's certainly getting a lot of attention. <laughs> 